Don't be distracted by your phone. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, um, now, so we're looking at this. We want to find the points of, we want to see any kind of points that of um, uh, points where our function is going to be non-differentiable. So therefore, we can look for um, if we have any um, not our discontinuities um, a, or in terms of like vertical tangents. So we're looking for some holes in this case or exactly um, uh, asymptotes. I'm sorry, we're just looking for vertical uh, asymptotes in this case. So in this case, when we look at this, we, if we want to go ahead and simplify, you can simplify your numerator by factoring it. Um, remember that's basically x cubed minus 2 cubed. So when you factor that, you'd get x minus 2 times x squared plus 2x plus 4. When you factor the denominator, you get x minus 1 times x minus 5. We're not dealing with any holes in this case. Nothing is dividing out. But you can see that I have two vertical asymptotes. So since I have vertical asymptotes, yes? I did I write down? Let me just make sure I wrote down the function, the correct one, because I don't remember that answer. That is correct, but I just want to make sure that I don't remember that as my answer. Did I write? Yeah, I guess I did write it down. Okay. Yes, yeah, so it's x plus one, so therefore it's minus one. So you can see that we have two points of this, um, two vertical tangents, at x equals negative one and x equals five. Therefore, even though we'll be able to find the function or the derivative of this function, which we'll learn about later, what we're going to notice is the derivative is not differentiable at the values negative 1 and 5. Okay? So even though we can evaluate you know, a derivative, we're not going to be able to plug in or find the 